Hello everybody. We know that family planning is very very important and we say that it is so important because of mainly three reasons. These three reasons are firstly to keep or to avoid any kind of unwanted pregnancy or birth. Second is to keep a proper interval between pregnancies and third is to determine the number of children in a particular family. So because of this family planning is very important and the government of our country is also supporting such kind of family planning by introducing a number of programs. But we see that a lot of times it happens that because of any kind of unplanned pregnancy there are some methods that we can take to avoid such situations. So for such reasons we call it birth control or we can also call it contraceptive methods of avoiding unwanted pregnancies. So what are these methods and what should be the basic you know the factors why we should use them. So here we see firstly that contraceptives they should be very very easily available. Second they should be effective and they should not change any kind of sexual drive or desire in a person. Also, they should not have a lot of side effects so as to cause any kind of changes in a human behavior. So, these are some of the important things that while preparing any kind of birth control pill or anything, these things should be kept in mind. So, now we see that these birth control methods are mainly divided into three and these are first is what we call temporary. Second is called as terminal and the third method is called as corrective. So here in this lesson we are going to focus upon these three methods and we will see the various subcategories which fall under these three methods. So let's first talk about the temporary methods and see what all methods can be used to prevent this unwanted pregnancy. So here you can see some of the temporary methods which are used to prevent the unwanted pregnancy. Herein we can see in the temporary method there are various methods in which the first one is the natural method. So all these methods they aim towards the same thing that is to avoid the pregnancy but they can do it in different ways. So for example in the natural method we see that its aim is to prevent the meeting of sperm and ova. So how do we do that? Well in natural method the first is the periodic abstinence which means that during the menstrual cycle we can say that 10 days before or we can say 7 days before the menstrual cycle and 7 days after the menstrual cycle these are called as the safe days. Why do we say so? Because we know that ovulation takes place usually on 14th day but Obviously, there are not a lot of women in which this happens only on the 14th day. So, we can say from 10th till 16th day, it is said to be fertilizing day. In these days, ovulation can take place. So, the couples, they avoid having intercourse during these days and the days like 7 days before the first day and 7 days after the menstrual cycle, these are considered to be the safe days. So, these can be used to avoid any unwanted pregnancy. Next is the withdrawal method. So withdrawal method, it is simple. It means that during the sexual intercourse, the male, you know, withdraws the penis just before the ejaculation so that the female reproductive system doesn't get the sperms. Last is the lactational amenorrhea. In lactational amenorrhea, we see that just after the parturition, a female starts to lactate, right? And because of this lactation, due to the high level of prolactin, there occurs the delay in menstrual cycle. Now, when there is delay in menstrual cycle, it means that there is delay in ovulation. So, after 6 months of parturition, it is considered to be the safe period and the chances of becoming pregnant is nil. Next, we come to the barrier method. So, barrier method, it also aims the same. It basically prevents the meeting of sperm and ova but it does it with the help of some barriers. 
and these barriers can be of these two types the first ones are called as condoms so condoms are nothing but these are the rubber latex which covers the penis so that during ejaculation the sperm doesn't enter the female reproductive system next are the diaphragm cervical caps or the valves well these are the female contraceptives we can say these are the female barriers so these when they are put in the female reproductive tract basically we can say in the cervix they prevent the entry of sperm further into the system so these are the two methods in which first we have learnt about the natural methods second we have seen some barriers so in barriers we have mainly seen that these are the rubber latex substances which when put on the male penis or in the female cervix they prevent the entry of sperm into the female genital tract next let's talk about the chemical methods so when we talk about the chemical methods we see that these agents or you know the spermicidal agents they aim to kill the sperms so these can be available in the form of various things like foam cream gels or anything and their main target is to kill the sperms present in the female genital tract so these are the chemical methods next we come to iud iud stands for intra uterine devices so as the name suggest they are put in the uterus of a female so here we see that these intra uterine devices when they are kept in the female uterus they prevent the pregnancy by in different ways we can say so the first type of iud is the non medicated one this non medicated iud it basically enhances the phagocytosis of the uterine cells towards the sperm so the sperms they get killed with the help of uterine cells next is the copper releasing iud well the copper releasing iud it contains copper of course and this decreases the motility of sperm so this is how it prevents pregnancy last is hormone releasing iud hormone releasing iud basically they prevent the implantation and they also kill the sperms next we come to the last method which is called as hormonal method so in hormonal method of course certain hormones are used these hormonal methods they can be given to females or males as well usually they are given to females only so the first method is the oral pills or oral contraceptive pills in oral contraceptive pills we see that a mixture of two hormones it can be estrogen or progesterone or progesterone alone it can be given to a female to avoid ovulation so what exactly they do is that they affect the pituitary gland they affect the pituitary gland so that the pituitary gland does not produce the fsh the follicular stimulating hormone with the help of which they prevent the ovulation in a female some of the most common example of oral pills are mala n mala d or saheli when i say saheli it is very important for you to know that this medicine this drug saheli it has been researched in cdri lucknow next is the injectable contraceptives so these injectable contraceptives these can be injections or implants in injections we see that a certain amount of hormones can be given to the muscle so as to prevent this pregnancy and also in implants for example like norplant we see that in this the you know in this implant it is kept under the skin and it keeps on releasing certain amount of progesterone so you see that these are the number of methods which can be used to avoid unwanted pregnancy and we say these are the temporary methods which means that none of them assures that 100% pregnancy would be avoided but they all play a very important role in avoiding pregnancy up to a certain limit so this was about the temporary method moving forward we will have a look at the terminal method so now we are talking about the second method which is the terminal method in terminal method we see that it is also called as a surgery or sterilization it can be done for both males as well as females so we see that when it is done in males we term it as vasectomy and the term vasectomy means that it is the ligation or cutting of the vas deferens 
so we can see that the objective of such kind of method is basically to prevent the transport of gametes so as to present prevent the conception so this is the vasectomy which is done in males coming to the females we see it is called as tubectomy which means the cutting of fallopian tube so if the fallopian tubes are cut or if they are tubically ligated okay then what would happen the ova will not be able to reach the middle part of fallopian tube and then it will avoid the fertilization as well so these are the two ways how males and females they can be treated surgically so as to prevent the unwanted pregnancy the third method that we are going to see in here is the corrective method so the last method that we are going to see is the corrective method in corrective method we are going to learn about the mtp which is medically terminated pregnancy so this type of termination is basically the termination of pregnancy medically when the fetus is not viable so before the fetus become viable if you do the termination of pregnancy that is only legal in india next we see that this is also called as abortion also that the first trimester of the pregnancy are considered to be safe for this abortion but the second trimester are considered to be little dangerous also we see that this method is very common amongst the entire world and we see that almost 1/5 of the pregnancies they are being terminated medically also we see that in india this MTP has been legalized from 1971 but it has been legalized along with a strict list of conditions so we see that this can be done only on some conditions there has to be some strong basis for doing it for example firstly we can say the health of the mother so if the health of the mother is not well let's say then it can be done second we see some of the reasons such as eugenics meaning if the child has any kind of irregularity or illness next can be humanitarian grounds for example in case of rape fourth it can be socio economic values as well for example we can say that if a mother is having two to three child or maybe more than that then also it can be done and last is due to the failure of intra uterine devices so these are some of the conditions which are necessary before somebody goes for the mtp it is so because lot of people are going for female feticide so to avoid such things mtp is been considered under strict conditions so in this lesson we have learned about the birth control methods in which the first one we have learned was the temporary method in which we have seen a number of methods which are pretty common and they are very useful to avoid pregnancy next is the terminal method wherein we have seen that you know certain kind of surgeries or sterilization can be done in males and females to avoid pregnancy and last is the corrective method which means that even if the if a person or female has become let's say pregnant then medical termination of this pregnancy is possible under some strict conditions